Hello, my friends. I hope that you're all doing very well. So in today's video, I wanted to explore something really fascinating with you guys. And that's this idea of, do you have a different personality when speaking in a different language? So there has been some research about this topic, though not a ton of research. And in fact, some of the research has shown that we do tend to shift in our big five personality traits when we're speaking in a different language, which is absolutely fascinating. So in today's video, what I wanna do is tell you guys about what those big five personality traits are and I'm really, really curious to hear from you guys whether you think that your own personality changes when you're speaking in English compared to your native language. At the end of the video, I'll share with you guys what both my mother and my husband think regarding my personality shift when I'm speaking in Polish. But for my own kind of self-analysis, I have a hard time kind of putting my finger on any kind of real shift I feel. And the reason for that is because I tend to use all of my languages in very different situations and contexts. So I feel that I'm not really comparing apples to apples. So as much as you can, keep that in mind. Try to compare these personality differences when you're really using the languages in similar contexts, if possible. All right, so let's dive into these big five personality traits. So these are kind of five traits that many psychologists think make up our personalities. So the first trait is called openness. So if you're high in openness, that means that you're really open to new experiences, that you like to try new things, that you're very imaginative, that you really like abstract ideas. If you're low in openness, it's the opposite. It means that you're really more so a person of routine and that you're very practical and that you really don't prefer to like go to new places or go on adventures. You really prefer to keep things exactly like they are. The next personality trait is called conscientiousness. So if you're high in conscientiousness, it means that you're very organized and particular and you like to stick to a schedule and that you pay a lot of attention to details. If you're low in conscientiousness, it means that you're a lot more spontaneous and messy and free and you don't really care about having a set schedule. You just kind of like to go with the flow and see where life takes you. The third trait is called extroversion. So if you're high in extroversion, it means that you really love talking to people and meeting new people and generally that you just really gain a lot of energy when you're around different people. If you're low in extroversion, it means that you're more quiet and reserved. And even though you may like people and the company of people, overall, you find the company of a lot of people draining and after being around a lot of people you need time by yourself to recharge your batteries the next personality trait is called agreeableness so if you're high in agreeableness it means that you really care a lot about people and you like to help people and you're very empathetic if you're low in agreeableness it means that you don't really care about helping others you're more interested in yourself and you don't tend to have a lot of empathy towards the plight of others. And then the last personality trait from the big five is called neuroticism. So if you're high in neuroticism, it means that you tend to be more anxious and worried and engage in those kinds of thoughts and behaviors. And if you're low in neuroticism, it means that you don't worry too much. You don't tend to get anxious. You're really kind of happy-go-lucky, go with the flow. So I'm so curious to know what you guys think about yourselves. Do you feel that your personality shifts in any of these ways when you're speaking in English compared to your native language? Or even do you find that your personality shifts in a way that wasn't really covered by the big five personality traits? I'm really, really curious. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And now let me tell you what my mom and my husband think of my personality when I'm speaking in Polish compared to English. So first we'll start with my mom, who is a native Polish speaker. And when I first asked her this question, she thought that my personality was exactly the same. And then when I kind of kept probing and I said, I'm making a YouTube video, come on, you must think something. 
the only thing she could come up with was kind of weak and she said that if she had to pick she thinks that I sound smarter in English than in Polish and and I don't think this is really a personality change I think this has to do simply with the fact that I'm more proficient in English than in Polish and that she hears me speaking about more complex topics in English than in Polish so Mom, I love you to bits, but I'm not really counting this as a great personality change. When I asked my husband the same question, he said that he notices that let's say I'm having kind of like a disagreement or more of like an intense conversation with someone on the phone or in person, he thinks that I switch to Polish when things get more intense. So he kind of had the idea that maybe I'm a bit more aggressive in Polish but I don't, I don't necessarily think this is the case either. I think this just has to do with kind of which language fits a situation better, which, which is entirely a different topic. I do think that I'm more direct in Polish. For example, I'll notice that in Polish, I'll say to my mom like, do you understand what I just said? <laughs> and I would never say that in English because it would sound very jarring. But in Polish, that's an appropriate and okay thing to say. But, but again, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is a change in personality or just a change in language usage based on how that language is used. It's very complicated, right? So those are just kind of thoughts that come to mind. But again, I'm dying to read your comments, you guys. So let me know what you think. And that's all I had for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like, give it a share, and I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Take care. Bye.